Why did many Americans push for reform in the workplace during the 1830s to the 1840s? First of all, working in the workplace would not have been possible without the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution was a period of time in the United States of America when industry was popular and it became a huge part of the United States' economy. New technology was made and knowledge was given to those who did not have it and did not know about this technology. Factories and mills were made. The mills were particular for making cotton and textile and these factories would be known for making goods that must be consumable. Factories produced items such as shoes, watches, guns, sewing machines, and agricultural machinery in addition to textiles and clothing. However, these working conditions in the factory worsened every and every single day, and people did not feel fair enough. The women in particular were not getting equal rights as factory workers. The women were often paid less than the men, and they often had to work more than the men. The women always had to go home and take care of their children. However, in order to earn money for their children, they had to go back to work and earn it the hard way. One of the first women's reforms groups was the Lowell, was the Lowell Female Labor Reform Organization in Massachusetts. They petitioned the state legislature for a 10-hour workday. However, the state legislature did not even identify them as people who worked in the workplace, and they did not even want to sign the petition that was created only by women. Women, children, and men alike were very displeased with the working conditions that was offered inside the factories and mills. Often, they would not be paid the full minimum wage, and even if they were, the minimum wage was very small. They would be forced to work 11-hour workdays, and at times, they would not get any breaks at all. They would only get a 30-minute lunch break, and then after that, they would have to keep on working until the end of their shift. Then when they get home, they would only have enough time to say hi to their kids and to sleep, and then have to return back to work the next day. This was a living hell for girls women, and even old people who worked in the factories. These factories had deplorable conditions and often they were not suited for the workplace. For example, in the textile mills in Massachusetts and other parts of the northern United States, what happened was that cotton fibers were often spread around due to a lot of the mills being run at the same time. With all these cotton fibers being run around, what happened was that this led to an increased chance of there being lung cancer. And when there was lung cancer, there was often no medical treatment on site in the factory to help out the people that were sickened. Masks were not provided, and often if you worked in the factory and you were sick, you often, can, you often gave your sickness to other people in the factory who were not properly protected. <laughs>